Hey Media Mail Gang, it is Katie with Katie Reads and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Every time I start my intro of the video, the baby decides to start talking and argue with me. Every time. So today is 50% off at Salvation Army. I'm really excited and let's just get into the store. And of course there is a baby crying and surprisingly enough my Salvation Army was playing some music in the background. Uh, so I'm going to do a voiceover and just kind of show you guys some things that I found. I'm going to go over it in more detail at the end of the video. And then uh, I'll also kind of explain why I chose to leave some things behind. There's Brendel being a good boy, being cooperative, Izzy watching the baby for me, always helping me out. Uh, I was really excited to see a lot of the Halloween stuff still here because I like to combine Halloween and Christmas for the crisp, the creepmas, spooky kind of um, combo theme. I was super excited to see these goosebumps. You want to know why? Because they didn't have stickers on them, which means they're all individually priced, not the normal cheap uh, book price. But I was so excited because not having that sticker is so huge and the price wasn't horrible. They wanted $1.99 and it wasn't horrible because everything was 50% off. <laughs> so paying a dollar each for these, totally worth it. This was insane. You guys know I love grabbing vehicle manuals, owner manuals, repair manuals. $12.99, that's an eBay price. That's an eBay sale. Um, you'd probably get like around 15, 18 for that. I did grab this Snow White. You guys will see that towards the end of the video, but I'm like still just shocked at the prices that they are throwing on these manuals. Almost grabbed this. They want a $9.99. I'm like, you know, even at 50% off, I'm not going to spend that much for a $15 book. You know, I'll list it at 15 and have best offers on and it's just not worth it. I was looking through this pile because it seems like... What my Salvation Army is starting to do now is they're putting ephemera and what they consider more expensive books on the shelves in a separate area of the store uh, versus combining them with all the other books on the shelf. I was looking at these yearbooks. I almost grabbed them. Uh, they were only $4.99, which would have made them $2.50. But the yearbooks I currently have in my eBay store are not selling, and I got those for a dollar piece from a uh, garage sale. And so until I start selling some of these yearbooks, I'm going to hold off on buying more. It is possible to sell yearbooks. Uh, it just has to be appealing, the location, names, um, the year, maybe historical context, this was so gorgeous. I love the front cover of this. I really, really liked it. Um, and the price would have been decent, but again, I just am really hesitant right now to mess with purchasing any more yearbooks. I have about five or six in the shop right now and none of them have sold. So I'm gonna hold off until we start getting some yearbook sales before I purchase more. Uh, again, just kind of looking for more manuals certain ephemera, anything that really sticks out. There were some good textbooks in here, um, but I scanned them for Amazon and they weren't really worth anything, so I left those behind. I did look at this uh, Disney, what is it? I think it was a baby, like self-help Disney-themed book. I did look that up on Amazon and eBay and it wasn't worth anything. Um, and here, just looking at the knickknacks, you guys just always keep in mind Especially when a sale like this is going on, that there could be some good knickknacks that you can get for a decent price during sales like this. Um, it was Black Friday, so they did a really cool Black Friday sale. I love owls. I almost got that for personal use, but I was trying to focus on reselling and sourcing exclusively. So um, I did not get it, but I wanted to. I really wanted to. And here, uh, sometimes I will browse this for Amazon, um, but I've noticed lately my Salvation Army is putting a lot of things on the shelves that are used, which is gross, um, in my personal opinion. Again, I don't throw shade at anyone that maybe is okay with purchasing used health and beauty items. 
I am not one of those people that is okay with it, so it's a pass for me, and obviously I'm not going to resell mm-hmm. you stuff. So I didn't see anything that really stuck out to me. Mm-hmm. Again, glassware, mm-hmm. things like that. I did look at those jars to see if I could come up with maybe anything mm-hmm. for the craft sale, use that for a craft of some kind, but... Just glassware, household items. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm sure with a 50% off sale, someone who is into that and doesn't mind selling that could have made a killing. I almost grabbed this for one of my sisters. And then upon closer inspection, I realized that uh, it's been used, unfortunately. So if it was brand new, sealed, never been used, I would have probably gotten that for one of my sisters for Christmas. Again, just kind of browsing. (laughs) Yeah, that was a throwback to my childhood. If you're Latina, you know those those bowls. Uh, Funny story about this. So during the Halloween um, trunk or treat that I participated in, they were giving these out and like begging people to take them in like large stacks. So someone must have donated it and uh, gotten rid of them. This is mess in a bottle. Um, there's like it's like t-shirts with sayings. They're all 2XL. Uh, I did not look this up because the packaging was not the greatest, so I wasn't 100 percent sold that it was brand new sealed. And I just didn't. I mean, clothing isn't my thing, anyways, guys. So you know, I'm not really out here sourcing for clothes. So again, just kind of looking, seeing if there's anything I could upcycle, anything I could turn into Christmas theme or a um, Halloween-ish style Christmas theme. Nothing really exciting so far. I did look through some of this notebook, like different envelopes, notebook paper, different style things here. I'm looking um, at this Aloha Hawaiian uh, photo album. Super gorgeous. It would have been $2.50, but I it was handmade and I just don't know that I could have sold it for... I, I'm trying to like find things that I can either use for crafting or can get, you know, at least $10 plus on. So I did leave it behind. Again, just kind of looking for anything, especially brand new sealed. Sometimes I will find really great brand new sealed items here. Uh, photo albums like the vintage photo albums people really like those especially if you can find them brand new sealed Um, so again just kind of looking to see if there's any like really sticking out ephemera they do have ephemera behind the glass case I looked this up uh, on Amazon and the profit was not there I also looked up this circle on uh, by Disney on eBay and uh, even 50% off the profit wasn't really there for me And I looked these up, but they were very um, faded. The labels, I'm not sure that they would stick. It seems like it was an older packaging style. This was kind of cool for a dollar. I thought that might be cool um, to gift to somebody for Christmas, but I couldn't really think of anyone that would want an old school photo album like that. So I left it. So as a wrap up guys, um, there he goes again every time I talk. As a wrap up guys, it was very busy in there and Brendel really needs a nap and um, I forgot my GoPro. So the actual thrifting part of this video isn't a ton and I'm sorry about that. Um, I will put a voiceover in some spots which you guys have probably already seen by now. And then I'll show you everything that I got um, here in just a moment when I get back to the house. All right, so I am back at the house. Yes, the tree is up, don't judge me. And I'm going to go through all the things that I found and I'll throw up comps for certain things. Uh, But yeah, I'm really excited about the haul. I spent $27 and some change. So we'll see what type of profit I could potentially have. So this was one of the first finds um, and it was 50% off, 99 cents. They are a large house shaped 3D gift box. And I decided that I would grab this and worst case scenario, I would just use it for Christmas gifts for my family. So I purchased four of them um, just to kind of see what they were going for on eBay. And then again, worst case, I'll just use them. But 
I tried to look this up. It says um, 2006, so it is vintage. Um, but I can't find anything on Google. I can't find anything on eBay. So either these were like a really limited and are very rare, or these just aren't worth anything. <laughs> um, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, it says Sears right here, but like the house doesn't have any writing on it. Um, but I don't know. For 49 cents, I figured, you know what, we'll just grab them. If I can sell them, great. If not, I'll use them. I also grabbed this brand new sealed A Christmas Story. It has the little um, lamp shade on there. The Christmas Story is one of my mom's favorite Christmas movies. So I'll just use this for gifts. This is just personal use. It was $1.99, 50% off. So I paid like a buck. Okay, up next, we have these Halloween... They look like ornaments, like you could hang them as the ornaments, but I'm sure they're meant to be like home decor. They're very, very pretty. I am going to try and sell them as is at the craft fair for probably $5 to $10. Um, I thought about keeping them, but I want to try and, you know, make my money back, get stuff moving. Um, so I got them 50% off, so I paid $3 a piece for these. And I want to try and sell them for, like I said, 5 to 10 I just haven't decided for sure. I'll probably hang them on the mini tree that I have for my um, craft fair display for my book ornaments. And just kind of combine it with it because I am going to have kind of like a creep miss, gothic, um, goth miss. Like, there's a lot of Halloween-ish combined with Christmas, kind of like a Nightmare Before Christmas theme. Um, but it's like an actual lifestyle, a home decor style. Creep Miss is definitely a popular thing in the horror community as well. So I'm going to have these available too. Now I grabbed, I think, four of these. Um, they were 99 cents, so 50% off, they're 49 cents. They're just cookie exchange kits and pretty much it's just recipe cards, invitations, cookie ID cards, and two sticker sheets. Really, really super cute. Um, I'll probably try and sell them just as is for um, two bucks at the craft fair. These, I have a couple different ideas <laughs> um, and I'm going to be using these for crafts. I'll probably put these little guys inside of some handmade snow globes that I am thinking about doing or I'll put these inside um, or I might combine these with some other paper crafts that I'm working on. So I just haven't decided yet exactly, but I have a lot of different ideas for this and I paid a dollar. There's a ton of vintage ribbon in here. Um, some of that I'm going to use for myself, but some of that I'll include with my junk journal kits that I'm doing for the craft fair. The junk journal kits I'm selling for $20 each. Um, so this I paid a dollar fifty for. It was 50% off. Um, and yeah, I think between all of these, they're just going to get thrown into kits. So I'm going to get multiple, multiple uses out of this. Um, because I don't put an entire ribbon bundle in just one kit. I just do some ribbon. So I'll probably get, jeez, oh, I don't know, 30 or more junk journal kits out of just this one pack. Um, and then assuming I sell all 30 junk journal kits at $20 a piece, like it's a pretty good you know, per item. So this is just kind of like something that gets thrown in with multiple other things. This was one of the classic eBay finds for the day. Uh, I paid $2.50 and it's selling brand new around $20 to $25. Bucks. So this actually was a really, really great find. It almost paid for my entire haul for the day. So, I mean, assuming I get, you know, 5 to 10 for the ornaments and then my cookie um, exchange kits you know I'm already at 30 ish dollars um, in sales not profit but 30 ish dollars so that covers my um, purchases for the day so uh, I'm happy with that and then everything else is just kind of gonna kind of be the icing on top because most of what I got is for craft sale stuff but this being brand new sealed I had to check it out um, I remember seeing games like this before so, um, I knew it would be vintage and then it's got the 2006 there and this stuff is just coming back in style. So brand new sealed, it's Christmas time. I'm going to get this listed right away. 
this I got for 49 cents. We are just going to throw it inside some junk journal kits. This is really cool paper, so I'll just kind of spread it out to multiple different kits where, you know, this cassette tape style, um, vintage Y2K computerish look kind of makes sense. This I paid a dollar for. I'm going to be using it for junk journal kits. Um, a lot of people like different variety of paper, and so I just want to try and add some value to the junk journal kits as much as possible. Next we got this Snow White book for a dollar. I think I can at least get three bucks on whatnot for it if I don't list it on eBay. Um, I'll show the eBay comp, but if the comp is like really low, then I'll probably just put it up on whatnot for three bucks and just kind of see what happens in auction. But yeah, paying a dollar for this and getting a couple bucks back is not too bad. Um, I could probably even get five because it's in such, such good condition. So we'll see. We'll see what the eBay comps are for this one. This I paid $1 for. This is going in the personal collection. I may put it on my craft table display um, just so people can have like the section of like Creepmas stuff and then the other things that I offer. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided, but it's for sure going to stay in the personal collection. Now you guys saw me thrift these. They all have different pricing, um, but there's like little to no writing inside. There's no stickers on them. I was able to dodge the classic, you know, Salvation Army sticker. Um, so I paid a dollar for each of these. I think I could get three plus because they're the OG original, um, scholastic goosebumps and again there's no writing and there's no stickers on them so that's pretty huge when you're trying to sell these on platforms like whatnot and on ebay so i'm gonna look up a couple of the titles just to make sure there isn't any like huge banger that needs to go up on ebay um rather than going to whatnot but otherwise yeah this will be in future shows so that's it that's the haul guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video